India is a nation that loves listening to music. Sample this, no pun intended here. We listen to almost 19.1 hours of music on an average, which is higher than the global average of 18 hours. Now, if you were only listening to three minute songs, then we'd be listening to 54 three minute songs daily. But we are listening to music and pardon my very candid opinion out here on some of the worst sounding audio products. Else Boat wouldn't have become the top audio brand in India right now. And I say this out of experience because I've tested close to 11 boat products, none of which were tuned well. Therefore, I've wanted to do this for a long time and I've curated a list of free tools and affordable audio products that can get you started on your musical journey. Because trust me, we all need an upgrade when it comes to audio gear. Know that for this video, I will try to recommend products that I've tested personally or at least used personally or at least auditioned once. If not, I will pick out some of the highly rated products from the sources that I follow. Links to all these products will be in the description below and if you don't know me yet, I'm Ashad. You're watching Track It English. Let's begin our musical journey. Before we get into the hardware itself, let me recommend some apps and services that you will need on your phone to get you started on this journey. And I'm going to start off with Apple Music because that is currently the only music streaming service in our country that is offering lossless music. You've got a wide range of, you know, lossless and high risk lossless tracks in Apple's entire catalog. So it should serve your purpose. Or if you are enterprising enough, you can use a VPN to get signed into something like Tidal, uh, you know, Tidal Turkey or Tidal USA. But know that the catalog will not be as vast as what you get with Apple Music. So Apple Music subscription will set you back by Rs 99 a month or Rs 59 if you are a student. And the best part is with Apple Music's student subscription, you also get free subscription to Apple TV Plus. And you guys must watch Ted Lasso and Severance, two of my favorite shows on that platform. Moving on, if you own an Android phone, you must download the Wavelet app for EQing especially if your product supports it. You can of course do custom tuning on the equalizer that's available, but the main advantage of Wavelet are the pre-fed EQs for many IEMs and TWS products, which actually, you know, cuts out the flaws and makes them sound better. For example, in the recent Sony WS-1000XM5 review, I used the custom EQ to actually improve the sound signature. I mean, I didn't like the default one. If you haven't watched that video yet, go and check it out. And this is a free app, by the way. None of this costs any money. It's all goodwill for the community. So there's no harm in you downloading and using that app. Unfortunately for iPhone users, nothing of this sort is available. So that's a bit of a letdown. So if you've come this far, making these kind of lists takes a lot of research work and a lot of groundwork to recommend the right products to you guys. So it'll be great if you can support us, hit the like button, maybe even comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel. All right, so let's start off with the setups and I'm going to start off with the best audio file setup that you can get for under rupees 600. So you can get started on a journey without spending a lot of money. And the product that I'm going to recommend is the awesome VE Monk Plus. These have a classic earbud style signature. It's an audiophile community favorite and the sound signature punches way above its price class. So I've used it and I was stunned by the amount of detail that it can retrieve for its very, very low price tag. I mean, it's no flagship killer like a lot of people are making it out to be, but it's a great budget IEM to get you started on your journey. The only catch is that you will need to have a headphone port in your phone. Otherwise, you will have to end up buying a dongle and that will, a Type-C to 3.5mm dongle, and that will cost you extra. And for iPhone users, the cost will be much higher considering the fact that Apple's official, uh, you know, Lightning to 3.5mm dongle costs 900 rupees. But you know what, you spend that 900 rupees and it's actually very good quality sound that you can get from that DAC. Uh, people do appreciate it even the audiophile community appreciates it. All right, so if you move up to the rupees thousand category, then you have the wonderful KZEDX Pro, which is something that I've recommended to a lot of my friends. So KZ or Knowledge Zenith is a very popular name in the world of Chinese hi-fi products. And it's also very cutely known as Chi-Fi products. Talking about Chi-Fi products, most of my recommendations are going to be Chi-Fi products because these are the brands that actually offer great quality sound at very low price. Now coming back to the ADX Pro, it's a relatively new entrant in the KZ lineup and it's got its you know signature KZ house sound of a V-shaped sound signature. So basically you get a big bass, extended treble and recessed mids. The bass is clean and the whole presentation is very nicely done and it doesn't have that typical KZ harshness that 
you know were existent on previous products it's a musical engaging sound that will work very well for genres like hip hop rock and edm now you expand your budget to rupees 2000 and it starts getting confusing because there are a lot of great iems in this price category by the way under rupees 2000 i might be able to fit in a setup with a portable dac but i'll get to that however the two iems that i wholeheartedly recommend to everybody and both of which are available with me here right now are the moondrop chu and the blond bl03 now moondrop is one of my favorite brands and i use their far more expensive blessing 2 on a regular basis it's one of my favorite iems out there but the chu itself is tuned in such a beautiful fashion that it punches way above its weight You will be surprised by how clean they sound and the level of detail and transparency that you can listen to in your songs using the Moondrop Chu. Honestly, it sounds as good if not better than many other 5000 rupee options out there. Moving on to the Blond BL03s again, these continue to be one of my favorite recommendations under rupees 2000. They sound energetic, musical and fun as well. I particularly like the way the bass is tuned on the Blond BL03s. The only concern is some might find the fit to be a little weird but it works for me so i'm not really complaining plus the sound staging for a pair of budget iems is pretty wide now if you want to also fit in a dac under rupees 2000 then i'd suggest that you stick to the kz edx pro that i recommended for under rupees 1000 and you add something like the ve monk abigail i've been using the odyssey hd for a while and these sound really good these make your you know iem sound really good much better than the dacs that are inside on most phones anyway by the way these are called dongle dacs and these will definitely make your equipment sound better than most of the cheap solutions that you find on the streets or even on Amazon now from 2000 i'm jumping directly to rupees 5000 and under rupees 5000 one recommendation from my end would be the meze 12 classics version 2 Now Meze is not a cheap fiber brand. Meze is a Romanian brand and their most popular product is the Meze 99 Classics which is a pair of headphones that I have recommended left right and center and I use one personally myself. The Meze 12 Classics version 2 has a proper V-shaped sound and it's musical and engaging as well. But the only problem with the Meze 12 is that the detail retrieval is not as good. It's still a pretty good pair of iEMs for under rupees 5000. If not, I would suggest something like the Shanling UA1 Pro. I use the Shanling UA two on the regular but the Shanling UA1 Pro is cheaper and it's almost very similar it's a very neutral dac which doesn't color the sound of your earphones themselves and you can pair that with the Moondrop Chu and you will get fantastic performance know that if you get one of these type c dacs with your iphone then you will have to get an otg adapter something from hidis that's available lt03 you can pick that up but the only problem with those adapters is that sometimes they might just fail primarily because you know the mfi certification is something that's a bit of a concern so a lot of people who have picked up uh, you know lightning dongles or lightning uh, you know adapters they seem to be failing a lot you must be wondering well ashad you're only recommending iems what about headphones well i am adding a headphone out here and that is the wonderful audio technica ath m20x now the m20x is available routinely for under rupees 5000 but it's got a very flat and neutral and analytical sound mostly meant for studio work or critical listening so they won't be as engaging as the iems that i've mentioned in this video and the bass will definitely be lacking because it won't have that kind of thump Now I'm jumping to the under 10000 category and a lot of people will be like but this is not a budget setup 10000 is expensive well in the world of audio files let me tell you that there are iems a lot of iems that cost upwards of a lakh some go up to even 3 and a half lakh So in that context yes 10000 doesn't seem too much and I'm going to be recommending a TWS for the very first time in this video and that is the excellent Oppo Enco X2. In fact under rupees 10000 you have other TWS earbuds which are audiophile grade in my opinion like the Oppo Enco X Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro or even the Lipotech Pure Play Z3 or Z7. But I'd still wholeheartedly recommend the Oppo Enco X2 for the way it's tuned and not just that if you are going bluetooth lossless then this supports every single codec out there including LHD and LDAC. Basically Oppo leaves no stone unturned. For headphones I'm sticking with the Audio Technica ATH M20X recommendation but then you can add the Shanling UA1 Pro on top of it to improve the sound quality. In fact for IEM plus DAC combo in this list I would pick up something like the Shanling UA1 Pro and the Meze 12 Classic V2 that I recommended or you can pick up the Dunu Titan S. 
So the Dunu Titan S has a neutral bright tuning and unlike many other IEMs that I've recommended in this video, they're not very musical and engaging but more reference grade and analytical and you know better suited for critical listening. It'll appeal to the OG audiophile, so someone who's looking for a very close to a neutral flat sound, something that's very unlike the Harman target curve. Now I had to mention the Harman target curve in this video and for those who don't know, this target curve was created by scientists at Harman and according to them, this is what they perceive to be the ideal target curve for most uh, you know, folks out there. But ideal doesn't mean that it'll work for everybody uh, because I know a lot of folks that don't like the Harman target curve. I do, which is why I use the Blessing 2, which is very close to the target curve. Anyway, I digress and I'm coming back to the Duno Titan S because it's technically very, very good. It has great imaging, it has great sound staging, and of course, it can retrieve a lot more details too. But if you want something more musical, something more engaging, something more fun, then the Moondrop Aria has to be the one for you. In fact, I've recommended the Aria to a lot, a lot of folks. And under rupees 10,000, these ones are possibly my de facto recommendation for most Indians, and I'll mention why. I feel that the Turing is perfect for our Indian sensibilities and the kind of music that we listen to. Mostly we listen to a lot of melodies and there are a lot of details in it and that Plus, of course, the warm, engaging sound that you get with the Aria is definitely very attractive. Whether it's Rehman or Pritanda that you're listening to, I'm sure that the Aria will at least try to touch your soul, if not actually touch it. So basically, they're tuned in a way that they're balanced across the frequency range. You get like a rich, tight bass response. You get very, very good mids and of course, smooth, unfussy treble as well. But if you do buy it, you won't get a money for a portable DAC, which will of course make your experience even better because of course they will sound better than your phones themselves. But you could probably opt for a dongle DAC. Maybe that will work. And so I'm hoping that this curated list was helpful for you folks. And this is a very personal sort of list because I've tested all of these products and I've mostly enjoyed you listening to them. And you know, the times when you listen to that certain beat that you've never heard before in a particular Rayman song because I'm a huge Rayman fan, that happiness is completely unparalleled. At the end of the day, it's all about listening to your music, your favorite music and listening to it right. That's all that matters. But what I feel is that personally, you need to audition these products because music is a very personal sort of, uh, you know, listening experience. What product works for me might not work for you. So if you are able to test it out, then maybe just maybe you may be able to make a better purchase decision, which is why I feel that we need to have more physical retail, you know, outlets out in the world for you to be able to test it out. Maybe something like audio cafes where you know you go get a cup of coffee listen to music those kind of things are of course very popular across Singapore and many other countries in Southeast Asia so yeah I hope something like that can come to India and we can give them the support that they will need to run their business hopefully someday in the end I went slightly all over the place but I hope you get the gist of what I'm trying to say and hopefully these products help you if they help you or you know you can help somebody else also with it so share this video with them until next time this is Eshad signing off Keep tracking and happy listening.